Hi everybody, Justin here from the Commodore Computer Museum. A lot of people might be wondering where I've been for the last month and a half, maybe two months. Well, I've been investing my time and my vast fortune into AI and robotics. Okay, so here's my AI and here's my robotics. <laughs> okay. But what we're going to do today is going to see if we can use artificial intelligence with the Commodore 64. Can the Commodore 64 think for itself, determine and understand and make decisions for itself? Well, we'll have a look today. We've got this beautiful Commodore 64 from Germany. Well, actually, I should clarify that. They were sold in Germany, but they were made in the USA. And there's something about them is quite interesting is that the, the case is pretty much a standard bread box case, but the keys were the Commodore 64 C keys. It's like a transition between the, the bread box or the bread bin to the Commodore 64 C, because it also uses the same Commodore 64 C motherboard as well. So here's the plan for Project Commodore 64 AI. The Commodore 64 will be programmed in BASIC to ask questions about an object that I'm thinking of. And based on the answers I give, it will guess what the object is. It also will learn from its mistakes. The five objects that will be chosen are all transport based. And if the computer guesses wrong, it will ask what the correct answer is and learn from that. That's the plan for this video. So now we're going to type out the program, we'll debug it, then we'll run the artificial intelligence program, and then we'll see if the Commodore 64 was able to learn from information that we've inputted. So that's a bit of a test to see if this is truly AI. We're going to program in a basic program that I found in an old book, and it's going to help us to see if the Commodore 64 can make decisions and think for itself. So let's get started. As you might have guessed from the cursor speed, this is being sped up big time. I'm a slow typer. This listing is from the very cool book by Keith and Stephen Brain called Artificial Intelligence on the Commodore 64 and it was printed in Okay, after you've finished entering the program, the next step is course debugging. Because I've never written a basic program yet or copied a basic program from a magazine or a book and have it run first time. But I really love debugging. I really love it when you have that Commodore 64 program all written out. Sometimes it's pages and pages of it. And you go to press run and it comes up an error. And then another error and another error. I really love that. Now the reason why is because it's all part of that great thinking outside the box and problem solving skills that you end up developing. And in this program, like most programs I've ever written out or copied, it just comes down to a few misspellings, a couple of commands that were quite right, using sem semicolons instead of columns and, and things like that. After a few minutes of rerunning it and also coming up with new errors, I finally I come up with a program that actually does work. So let's check it out right now. So my first object that I'm going to choose is a bicycle and the program will now ask questions to determine what 
it is and then make a guess. If it's wrong, it'll ask what it was and then moves on to the next round. On the right you can see the order of the objects I'll be choosing. And all these zeros and ones on the screen are the rule arrays. They've been printed to the screen so the user can understand what's happening. It shows it's basically determining what the object is. At this point we've now described all the five objects and did the Commodore 64 learn anything? Let's find out. The new order of the objects I'll be choosing are not shown on the screen right now. Now the same questions have been asked because this is the same program just running through and I'm just basically seeing if the Commodore 64 has remembered and learned what these objects are that we're describing. Here we see it hasn't actually worked out for the car, it hasn't remembered what the car description is. So we'll remind the program right now and we'll try again. Success. And the final object to describe is a bike. Well there you go, uh, that's the artificial intelligence on the Chrome 64. Fun little project, a little bit tongue in cheek because um, we understand the principles here of course that uh, to make the Commodore 64 think. And the great thing about though, about this whole uh, exercise, that program was in basic and you can actually make it a lot more advanced and a lot more detailed uh, and still stay with basic. I just love basic. I think it's a, it's a great way to make you think and also to be a problem solver as well. And for many people, they started their programming careers with basic on their Commodore 64 or the VIC-20. Is it as good as ChatGDP? Well, <laughs> of course not. Uh, it's supercomputers made in 2020, 2021, 2022. And here's a, a 64 kilobytes, 41 year old machine. It will never compare. A little side point about ChatGDP. I've been doing a lot of research for a book on Commodore computers. And I thought, hey, I could use ChatGDP to you know, write chapters for me. Tried it. Very, very cool tool, um, but also very, very inaccurate. So if you use ChatGDP for research, for school, for work, verify all the information it gives you because you can ask for references and it'll give you references. And then you look those references up and they've been made up. The, or the quotes or the details have been made up from those references. Or ChatGDP will say, sorry, I made a mistake with that last comment. Uh, there's no references for it to back it up. So pretty much made things up. That is pretty freaky. Um, if you're relying on ChatGDP for research, just confirm everything as well can say anyway the um hopefully you enjoyed this video and, and the artificial intelligence on the Commodore 64 uh upcoming video i'll some stage i'll do the Commodore 64 robotics video can't wait to start using this it's gonna be so cool i also have some other robotics videos i want to do for the Commodore 64 when i get time as well and um they're pretty cool um i can't wait to can't wait to share them if you want to follow me on Twitter as well, I'll have the link in the description down below so you can follow me there as well. Daily posts about Commodore computers, Commodore 64, VIC-20, Amiga, and a lot of Commodore history information. Not using ChatGDP, of course, because uh, like I said, half time is, oh, I mean half time, 80% of the time it's inaccurate. So if you want to get some good information about Commodore computers on a daily basis, check out my Twitter page.